Podcast. Welcome to Box Talk. I'm your host, Omar, where we talk about the awesome stuff that happens on television. What's up, Breaking Bad fans? The season premiere just came on. I have a special discussion at the end about the poisoning of Brock by Walter. Stay tuned for that. Let's talk about all the craziness that happened. So it started off with Walter White. We saw him, we were like, what the fuck? Oh my God, what happened to him? I was like, no, where's the old Walter White? Walter White transformed to like this 50 year old guy with a beard and glasses. I mean, he looked kind of like a professor, but good thing is this was just temporary. It looks like this was a look into the future. In this opening scene, Walter White was at a diner at a Denny's in New Hampshire. He bought a machine gun, M60, from one of the same guys he bought a gun previously. There's a couple of issues here. The fact that he has a machine gun, the fact that it looks like it's later, and the fact that she called him Mr. Lamberg, Happy birthday, Mr. Lambert. It looks like to me it's going to be what this the season finale is going to be about of season five. But eventually he does change his name. So maybe some shit is going to happen that's going to cause him to change his name. I don't know. I'm wondering about that. I'm wondering who he's going to clash with. He's going to clash with the DEA. Is he clashing with the cartel? What does he need this machine gun for? It's a little confusing. Then Skyler says she's scared of Walter. This this pisses me off again. He comes home. He's trying to clean up the evidence. But Skyler is scared of Walter and he tells her. Scared. Scared of what? You. Come on, you know, Skyler, stop this fucking bullshit. I mean, you weren't scared of him when you took his fucking money and gave it to the guy whose dick you suck. You weren't scared of, like, sucking Ted's dick. I mean, come on. But she's always, like, cold and mean with him, you know? Like, she's never warm. Like, I understand what happened. It's done. You can forgive his ass, you know? Or don't. He forgave you at the end of the episode. But she won't, like, find herself to do it. And that really, really bugs me. Then Mike, the bald guy, you know, this crazy guy who we all kind of like. But I really get pissed at Mike because he wants to kill Walter. One more word. Mike. Mike, if you kill him, you're gonna have to kill me. Come on. And the first thing Mike can do is pull out a gun on Walter and want to kill him because he killed Gus. Like, look, motherfucker, he killed Gus. You're gonna kill him, he'll kill you. Gus kept cameras on us at the lab, at the laundry. God only knows where else. What bugs me about this is that Jesse stands in the way. I mean, I don't know why everyone's always so against Walter and leaves Jesse alone. Like, Jesse was part of the killing of Gus. Everything always lies on Walter's shoulders, even though everybody's involved in the bullshit. And Mike is always, always condescending, too. He's always like the narcissist. Like, oh, you know, like, is this shitty plan going to work? Well, motherfucker, do you have a better plan than to run away? You know, that's all Mike wants to do. Look, I don't know how long Jesse in this season, is he going to last? Is he going to stay behind Walter? Or is there going to be a big breakup between Walter and Jesse again? I I'm a little concerned about Jesse. Like he's iffy, he's emotional. Sometimes he's cool, sometimes he's not. Then they want to use magnetic waves to destroy the laptop that's being held in the evidence room by the DEA. Jesse comes up with a brilliant idea, which is to use magnets. And so they go to the junkyard and they try to use magnets to control the laptop to slam it against the wall. And you know, I thought it was a little overreaching for me. It seemed a little sci fi. I don't know, maybe I'm just not a science person. Maybe that stuff is possible because you know, Walter is a sick bastard. So I love it when you saw when the laptop first just gets, gets like thrown out of Jesse's hand and slammed against a truck and then we see them go to the evidence room and it's successful they pull on the truck they use the magnetic waves everything gets slammed against the wall and then the truck falls over and then eventually they escape agent as he's looking through the evidence he is basically like talking about the damages but when you look at the picture and they pull it back they see some other information like the relevance of this to me was that there's possibly some other kind of information hidden in the laptop that might be important maybe Gus wrote some information on the laptop maybe there's something inside of it and then Beneke still alive they dripped and fell. That is all they know. He looks kind of nutty. Did you guys see him in that? Like, I don't know what the fuck happened to him. Like, does he have cancer? Does he, like, I don't know why he's bald. I, I don't know what's going on. Bitch, Skylar, she's like, oh, I, I just want to apologize. Bitch, there's nothing you can apologize about. She, the motherfucker hit his head. It was about to die. You had two crazy motherfuckers try to, try to blackmail him. I don't know if she's doing this for Walter or for herself anymore. He says he's not going to tell. Motherfucker, you better not tell. But I don't know if I trust him. But I sort of do. Benneke looks like he doesn't know. He's not into that lifestyle. So he just wants to stay far away from it. What shocked me was that when he said that he wouldn't tell, she was like, good. As if, like, she's starting to learn some shit from Walter, you know? She's getting in on this crime life. When Mike, Walter, and Jesse escape uh, the office after they destroy the evidence, when Mike and Walter exchange looks... Not supposed to take that on faith. Yeah? Why? Because I say so. Like, it showed you that Walter is transforming. Like, he's not taking shit. Like, before, no one would say shit to Mike. You'd be like, oh, Mike, I don't want no trouble, Mike. Motherfucker, no. But now it's like, Walter has the nerve and the guts and the courage to tell Mike, like, shut the fuck up, you know? I I'm running this shit. No one knows nothing, for crying out loud. But you just have to believe in faith. You have to believe that you know the right thing. And I think Walter now gets to that next level where he believes in himself. I love Walter's transformation. And then we also see Walter threaten Saul. So, like, really going to the next level. Saul, who he sought refuge with. Take that thing and get the hell out of here. You and me, we're done. We're done. 
done when I say we're done. We never thought Walter was the one always scared. And it's like he's not scared anymore. That's now we get to something awesome, which is Walter is involved with the trick of taking out that cigarette that was in the previous episode that had the, the, the ricin in it. But in fact, it seems like Walter hid the cigarette, number one. Number two, he had the Lily of the Valley plant, which he hid in the beginning of this episode. Walter was involved in it. Look, my take on this is like, I honestly don't give a shit if Walter did it. I think he did it for good reasons. Number one, because Jesse was being a bitch. J Jesse was turning on Walter. Jesse was betraying him. And he was supposed to kill Gus, and the motherfucker wasn't killing Gus. He was going with him, knowing the fact that he's, he has Walter's formula, that Walter taught him the formula. And he knew that Gus was going to put Walter out of business. So to me, it was like Jesse was betraying him anyway. So I think Walter is in his right to do whatever the fuck he wants to do to make Jesse kill Gus, which he was supposed to do. And the other side of this is that if Walter, in fact, did this, it's not like he killed the kid. He probably knew that that plant won't kill him. If Jesse finds out, is he going to do something? Because Jesse seems to be very emotional. I love Jesse, but he scares me sometimes. Finally, he forgives his wife. I forgive you. I don't know why he forgives her. I don't, something, I feel like something's gonna be up with her. She's still also caught in between whether she really loves Walter or whether she really hates him. All right, guys, that's been your review of the Breaking Bad season premiere, season five. All right, this has been Omar for your Breaking Bad After Hour. I'll see you in the next video.